Hello everyone, welcome to my concert tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how I draw with ballpoint pen. If you ever looked at my sketchbook, um, about like 90% of it is ballpoint pen. I've kind of moved on to like colored pencil, but I really love ballpoint pen. I prefer it to graphite. Um, when sketching, these are the pens that I use. Um, this is the, just for reference, this is the reference that I'm using. I pulled it off to Pinterest. Um, I get a lot of my references from Pinterest just because, I don't know, just find a random one and use that. So that's what I'm using today. If you've never used ballpoint before or you're really unfamiliar with it, I recommend just kind of going in on a scrap piece of paper and seeing how it interacts with the paper, how you can get um, certain lines and shapes. Um, you have to be really confident with your lines, I feel, with ballpoint. So, um, especially when you're going in with like the actual like final shapes and all that kind of stuff. So just kind of, I recommend just testing that out with how it works with the paper. So here I've started sketching the general shapes, um, going in with the bigger shapes, and then later on I go in with the details. Um, I also really like drawing uh, like fashion, not fashion, like clothing. I don't know. I don't know how and why I do any of what I draw. So again, I apologize if none of this is helpful, genuinely. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going in with the lines, the details, the, you know, the general shape of everything with the red pen. I'm doing that with the red pen. I usually use like a, a mix and match kind of colors to so like for the sketch kind of part the less detailed part I use a lighter color so I'm using the red and then later I go in with darker colors to kind of put in the details and like the final lines I prefer I I like a messy or like sketchy look with my drawings even if it's like a an actual final drawing like this is kind of like a sketch I like seeing like the process lines um, underneath everything uh, of course, if that's not the kind of aesthetic that you go with with your art, you can be ca more careful with your drawing and your lines and everything, but that's kind of how I draw stylistically. I like seeing the, the sketchy lines under everything. But as you can see here, I still have that red pan pen and am kind of going in with the um, shadows of the figure and the skin and kind of marking out the darker shapes. And the final lines and so now I took a purple and I'm doing that for the kind of the flannel shirt um, the color choice is um, not ideal it kind of ended up looking a little ugly but you know that's the fun part of using colored pens is you're not limited to just like blue or black you can use different colors to kind of add more dimension to the piece and separate different shapes and different textures um, and I'm also going to demonstrate like some different ways that I do drawing. So a lot of times when I'm drawing people in a whole figure with clothing, um, if I want to focus more on the figure, um, I'll leave the clothing kind of emptier, maybe just the outlining shapes um, with no shadow maybe, and I'll just show the folds and the outline of the shapes and that, and it'll draw more attention to the face. And sometimes I'll go in and add a lot more detail to the clothing if that's what I'm wanting. Um, so, you know, whatever you want. Again, stylistical, stylistic, stylistic choice. You know, just whatever you're feeling for the day, for the occasion. So as you can see with like the jacket and the shirt, I kind of went in with a little bit more shape and detail and shadow but with the pants I'm just gonna do line and that's pretty much it um, for the pants so you know that's something that I do sometimes and I'm doing the jacket um, the pants and detail for the face with the black pen so as you can see I'm going in with the black on the face and the figure as well as the jacket and the pants um, of course just you know whatever you feel like will look good again the color choice on this i don't know what i was going for um i don't know what i was trying to do but it shows the detail on the camera so i guess that's that's all that really matters um and then just going with the shoes um i love drawing shoes i love drawing hands 
Um, I know that's something that a lot of people don't really like drawing, but I love if I had the opportunity to draw some hands and some shoes, I will do it. I will do it. I will jump on that opportunity. Um, go out of your comfort zone. Ball, ball, ballpoint is really fun. It, um, I kind of hate using graphite now because I feel like ballpoint just has so much more, you know, has so much more flavor. It has so much more flavor. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, graphite is boring. I just feel like personally for how I draw stylistically, it has so much, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. Yes. So here's the final product. Um, again, I, you know, this kind of just shows the general idea of how I draw. Uh, so yeah, there we go. And I apologize again. Again, I, I don't really know how or why I draw the way that I do. So I hope this was helpful to kind of getting an idea of how to use ballpoint. Again, it'll vary by stylistic choice, how you draw, how you want it to look. So have fun with it. I would definitely recommend ballpoint if you've never tried it out, tried it out before. Okay. Bye. I miss you guys a lot. Bye.